But Ayala's fighting back. He certainly made each round questionable. We are in round four. It's for the WBC Featherweight Championship. A minute and a half to go in round four. And it's scheduled for 15. Coming to you from the convention center in San Antonio, the home of the challenger, Mike Ayala. And certainly the crowd is going to be with him. Good hooks by Ayala. Great hook. That was a great. That's one of his better punches. And I see Lopez sort of slowed up a little bit. He's getting some devastating body shots by Ayala. And Ayala's working very, very good. Under, over, under, over. But there, the Lopez comes right back and pins him into the neutral corner. Again, exchanging leather in the neutral corner. And it's just about even the way they exchange here. Well, you almost don't need a referee. The referee is Carlos Padilla, but uh, as you can see, he's, uh, he his has job no is work. not too difficult. He has no work tonight. He can just stand and observe like we are doing and enjoy the fight because these two don't know what a clinch means. They just keep punching. Oh, great left hook. Another great left hook. And the good shots to the body and back again with a right hand to the right side of the face of Lopez. Look at the way Ayala's working to the body in the midst of this fever action. He just keeps going to the body. And that's going to pay off because that will tire a man out. Okay, counting down. Now less than 10 seconds in round four. And this has been the best. Round ones and two very exciting. And here comes the bell for round four. A look at the champion, Danny Lopez, and he has his hands full as he talks to his trainer, Benny Giorgino. And here's a replay, Flirty, of that exciting round four. And you see how that hook landed thuddingly on Lopez's jaw, but Lopez keeps counterpunching. Now to the body by Ayala, now up to the head, up to the head, and then you'll watch him work back into the body. Ayala is really doing a job. Oh, that's round four. Round five was to follow. The action was very similar as we look at Danny Lopez's wife. And we are now in round six. It's scheduled for 15. It's for the WBC Featherweight Championship. Danny Lopez, the champion, on your left. Mike Ayala, the challenger, on your right. And once again, Ferdy, they're in the neutral corner. And back right to that. Man. They don't seem to like the middle of the ring, do they? They just go from one neutral corner to the other. I have Lopez ahead at this point. Because of his aggressiveness and because of his determination to stalk Ayala and the fairly even exchanges. But Ayala keeps drawing these rounds close. They just keep neck and neck. I don't think Lopez gave Ayala the kind of credit. Oh, oh. good. Good hooks. Good hooks. Two follow up with two more good left hooks by the challenger Ayala. Lopez might have taken him a little cheap. And Ayala certainly proving the mistake of taking anybody cheap. He is up here and fighting every minute of every round. You know, you sometimes think when you get 225 pounders that they got an 18 foot ring that they're going to use it. But these guys, either Lopez, the champion, has been smart enough to cut it down, but there's no dancing. This is just let them fly. And, uh, you take your turn, I'll take my turn. That's what it is, Bob. They're both taking turns. And I'm, I must say, they're landing devastating. Look at this action by Lopez. Lefts and rights unanswered by Ayala. We're in round now six. Ayala comes out fighting off the rope. That's been his pattern. Take all the punishment and then come back. Ayala's really getting set to let fly. But he seems to turn around and put himself back to the ropes. Now, whether that's an experience or just the way that Lopez is turning him, I don't know. Through six rounds, neither fighter has been cut and neither fighter has been down. No knockdowns at this point. And as you can see, this is the way it's been since the opening bell of round one. Danny Little Red Lopez applying pressure, constant, unrelenting, never-ending pressure. And Ayala responding well to the pressure by fighting off those ropes again and again. The same pattern is establishing itself. Less than a minute to go in round six. Oh, a good, another good left hook. It just sort of grazes, but Danny Lopez, the champion, coming right back and dancing and forcing the challenger across the ring and into a neutral corner where he bangs away at the body, then to the head, sticking out the jab and following with a right cross again and again. But Ayala, the challenger, fighting back once again and trying to fight Danny Lopez off the ropes. Trying to tie him up inside. A great left two with a right cross and a left hook by the challenger Ayala. Danny's head snaps back when he gets hit, those direct punches. But before that, he'd landed 25 unanswered punches. So you'd have to give that edge to Lopez in the corner. I don't know how much Ayala can take of this continuous barrage. 
Less than five seconds now. An exciting round, and that's it for round six. Okay, round seven, the bell rings, and out they come again. Lopez, the champion, it's scheduled for 15. We are in round seven in San Antonio, Texas. They should change that from a neutral corner to Ayala's corner. That's all he does is gravitate to those two corners. And there he is again. They got the great champion, Lopez, a knockout artist. In fact, his first 21 fights in his career were by knockout. Seven in the first round. He's won, knocked out 38 of, of his 40 victories. Tremendous puncher, tremendous champion. Since he won it from David Cote in his, in his country, shows you what a great champion he is when he took that title in 1976. I don't think Ayala's read his press clippings. He's treating him with almost disdain. He just keeps fighting away. He has not read the clippings, and he wants to get it on with Indian Red from corner to corner. These two guys are going at it. There have been no knockdowns in this fight, and we are now in the first minute of the seventh round. It is a title fight. The hometown boy from San Antonio, Mike Ayala, former Golden Gloves, an AAU champion with a tremendous, impressive amateur record and only one loss in 23 fights in the biggest fight of his life against the champion Danny Lopez from California. Well, the action just slowing up a little bit here, Ferdy. Yeah, if you can call <laughs> corner to corner and rope to rope action well, slow down, it has slowed down. You're I mean, right. After looking at the last round, six, and uh, how furious that was, this, uh, I guess anything would look slow. Oh. Here comes the pace again. I think you heard you, Bob, and got mad. He came back with a good combination that rocked Lopez back and Lopez backed up, but not for long. Here he comes again. Good action. Less than a minute now to go in round seven. The champions on the right. The referee is Carlos Padilla. No knockdowns yet in this fight. And Padilla has yet to do any kind of work, as you pointed out, Bob. But tremendous punishment, tremendous punching power by both of these fighters. Standing up on the one hook, the one solid jabs by both. Shots to the body like that hook. And a good straight right coming in by. It did it. it the right did got him, I think, Purdy. I, I think he's worn out by a series of punches more than one, but the right put a period to that sentence. There's a look at uh, Danny's wife. Uh, and it was 26 seconds when he went down, and he takes uh, a count and uh, an eight count, and he's back up. I think he's taking that more from the accumulation of the punches than anything else. But if there's one great thing is that Indian Red is a finisher, and here he goes to the task. Setting him up with that jab, repeated jabs, in and into the right hand. Okay, and here comes the end of round seven. We're looking at the challenge of Mike Ayala, who just took a, a, an eight count, not a standing, but a sort of a kneeling eight count. But let's see if we can pick up the punch. There it is, a right hand. No. And he sort of squints his eyes and uh, drops to one knee. Let's look at it again slowly. There is a left hand to the body now. Let's watch. It's a little tiny punch. There's the big one and the right hand. And it's more like an accumulation where he says, let me rest a minute. I wonder also, Ferdy, he sort of winced. Could he have maybe broken his nose or taken a shot where maybe he got some, some pain hit him or something? He could have got it in the eye. A lot, of, a lot of fighters feel that searing pain in the eye and drop for a moment to get them to collect themselves. But look at the way Ayala's come back. He's not hurt at all. But that, we are in round eight, and it's been this kind of action all the way that you're looking the first minute of round eight, scheduled for 15. There's, if there's ever been a better closer, and if anybody ever smells blood better than Lopez, I don't know it in, in the championships outside of Joe Lewis, because he knows when his fighters hurt. But Ayala's coming back fighting. He's like saying that was just a fluke. You know, you're right. He may have broken his nose. It may have been an eye. Something hurt him enough to go down. Well, he's bleeding, as you can see, kind of profusely from the nose. Is that an indication, Dr. Ferdy Pacheco, that perhaps the nose is broken? Yeah, when it starts gushing, it's usually broken. Well, it looks like it's gushing a little bit. Maybe we'll get a look at it a little bit later. But he did go down in the last round, round seven. We are in round eight. But he seems to have survived the knockdown and is back fighting like he has or was for the first seven rounds up until Ayala was knocked down by the champion and Danny Lopez in the red trunks. He's the almost fighting better, except for his going back to that corner. He seems to have been stung into activity. It's amazing how Lopez uh, just stands right in front of you and he just doesn't give you a chance to, to, to catch your breath almost. You really can't get away from Indian Red. You see Little Red, he 
there. Look at that combination by Ayala. It looks like Ayala is starting to really score on Lopez. Well, some guys get that smell that blood. There's a great combination. Look at that two, three. Perhaps the best we've seen. Ayala scoring the best he's seen of the fight. He has turned this fight around in this round. When he should have been going up down, he is coming up with a great round. But look at Lopez, so determined, following him back to the corner. No rest for the weary. But Lopez, when he gets hit, his head goes back. It really looks like he's been thundered. Look at that. I've got to say this, Ferdy, that we have passed the middle of this fight. And uh, with one minute to go here in round eight, and there's no question it's still anybody's fight. I think you would agree with that. Oh, yeah. It is still anybody's fight, especially the way Ayala's fighting and the way he's connecting and the way Lopez is taking everything he's throwing. I think one of the amazing things you notice about this with all these tremendous punches, solid landing punches, that neither fighter has even shown signs of being hurt or wobbly, except for, of course, the, the one uh, eight count uh, standing or kneeling eight count that Ayala took. I would give this round to Ayala in spite of the fact that Lopez has done some great fighting in this round because of his guts and he has almost intimidated him with his punching. We're almost coming to the end of the round and Ayala is still punching away. It's scheduled for 15 and less than 10 seconds remaining now in the eighth round. And as eighth round comes to an end, the two.